Hi, I'm Bob Helsel from the IVI Foundation. Welcome to the IVI Getting Started Guide videos. Our purpose is to provide you with an easy tutorial on using IVI drivers in the development environment of your choice. After a brief introduction, a technical expert will show you how to use drivers with your ADE. First, I'd like to go over a few key benefits in using IVI drivers. They will save you time in your program development. Number one is interchangeability. IVI drivers enable the exchange of instruments in your system with minimal code changes, reducing time and effort. Two, ease of use. You can use your favorite ADE, such as Visual Basic, Visual C++, LabVIEW, Lab Windows, MATLAB, or V. The standard APIs provide fast, intuitive access to functions. Three is quality. You'll have common commands and desirable options. The Foundation's rigorous testing ensures driver quality. Four is simulation. Simulation allows code development and testing even when an instrument is unavailable. We'll be taking advantage of the IVI simulation feature as not all viewers will have this hardware available. Fifth is performance and reliability. Examples of these are capabilities such as range checking and state caching. These are some of the key features of IVI drivers that will cut your program development time. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you'll first need to download and install an IVI driver. There are two ways to do that. You can go to the driver registry page on the IVI website, or you can go to the instrument vendor's website. Find the 34401A driver, download and install it before taking the tutorial. Now let's go to the product expert for your ADE. Hello, and welcome to the IB Getting Started with MATLAB tutorial. My name is Rob Purser from MathWorks. In order to follow along with the demonstration, the minimum software required is listed here. For assistance finding and installing the software, refer to the IB Getting Started guides on the resources page of the IB Foundation website. MATLAB is an interactive software environment for data acquisition and analysis, waveform generation, algorithm creation, and test system development. MATLAB provides a technical computing language that is designed to help you solve technical challenges faster than with traditional software environments. MATLAB supports IV instrument drivers using the Instrument Control Toolbox, which is an add-on product to MATLAB. Instrument Control Toolbox provides a graphical tool to configure IV driver properties and control instruments without writing MATLAB code. Type TM tool to launch the test and measurement tool. IV drivers provide a feature called the configuration store. The configuration store allows you to configure co the connection to your instrument, replace one instrument with another, and even simulate instruments without making any changes to your code. Here, we'll use test and measurement tool to add an entry into the configuration store describing the connection to the digital multimeter. Expand the instrument drivers node and click on the IV node. First, set the device to connect to. In the Hardware Assets tab, add the device MyDMM and assign a Visual Resource string to it. In the Software Modules tab, you'll see a list of installed IV drivers. Select our Agilent 34401 driver. Note that the tool shows you information about the module. Link the Software Module with the Hardware Asset by adding a driver session. Because we do not have this instrument on hand, we can take advantage of the simulation feature built into every IV driver. Finally, add the logical name DMM to enable your program to access any DMM independent of manufacturer or hardware asset. This is the name you'll use in MATLAB to access the instrument. Save the configuration. You can interact with the instrument live by using the test and measurement tool or the MATLAB command line. In this example, we'll use the MATLAB interactive command line. MATLAB does not require a compilation step, allowing you to interactively explore your instrument's capabilities and quickly experiment with its many features and modes. First, create an instance of the instrument and assign it to the variable DMM in the MATLAB environment. Connect to the simulated instrument using the standard IV command, initialize. 
the instrument will be initialized using the properties you specified using the test and measurement tool. Configure the instrument's range, resolution, and trigger delay. Notice that MATLAB's tab completion allows you to explore the operations and options for the instrument. Take a reading and capture the result in a variable named data. The 1000 parameter indicates the number of milliseconds for MATLAB to wait. Close the connection to the instrument using the standard IV command, close. By selecting commands in the command history and creating a script, you can capture your interactive session in order to use it again in the future. This concludes the Ivy Getting Started Guide for MATLAB. To learn more about using MATLAB with Ivy instrument drivers, visit www.pathworks.com ivy. For more information about Ivy drivers, please reference the other videos, tutorials, and other documentation that can be found at www.ivyfoundation.org. Thank you.